the chief guest, the directors present, the commandant, the police senior commandant, staff college, the heads of departments, the executive director, ICRC, the representative of the principal of the College of Humanities and Social Sciences, Makere University, senior officers present, directing staff, distinguished guests, graduates, and ladies and gentlemen. Asa, I'm senior superintendent, Ezekiel Emitu Ebapu, the course senior for the intermediate command and staff course, Intake 06, 2021. On behalf of the graduates, and on my own behalf, allow me warmly welcome you to this historic event in our policing and career progress. I vividly recall that on 6th April 2021, we set foot at this prestigious center of excellency to unlearn, learn, and relearn. It's now four months on course, and I have no doubt that we have experienced qualitative change that will inform the way we execute the tasks. The course has enhanced our key policing competencies, such as planning and execution of operations, a briefing and agenda setting, ideological orientation, observance of human rights, crime management, and prioritizing national security issues in the socioeconomic transformation of our country. Napoleon Bonaparte once said, there are no bad regiments, there are only bad colonels. Sir, we now appreciate that the leadership, command and control is paramount to the success of policy. It is important to understand the commandant's intent, which is founded on the pillar of mission command. We reaffirm the critical role of the commander, the staff officer in the execution of police operations. This will go down to fortify our operational competence while addressing uh, the present day challenges of policing in the fourth industrial revolution era by developing and applying high tech strategies to solve crime. Sun Tzu, in his book, The Art of War, said, to win 100 victories in 100 battles is not the achievement of skill, but rather to subdue the enemy without fighting is the achievement of skill. Sir, we have learned that we do not have enemies as law enforcement officers, but rather momentary opponents. The use of intelligence-led policing is one of the proactive approaches that we shall leverage on, coupled with the use of technology and research. We have learned that the activation of popular vigilance and the neighborhood watch to defeat criminals is a smart and modern policing approach that is in line with our vision. Such techniques will drive us towards a crime-free society. The course has therefore been tailored to address the needs of a holistic officer in a contemporary policing environment. On behalf of the course participants, and on my own behalf, I wish to extend sincere gratitude to the Inspector General of Police, the police top leadership for having steered and supported this course in all aspects, the commandant and the team for the tireless efforts in imparting knowledge and skills amidst the COVID-19 challenge. We have had a comfortable stay and enjoyed all the moments while on course. We appreciate the profound lectures from Makera University, particularly on peace building and conflict transformation. We equally appreciate the sister security agencies, Nkumba University, and distinguished senior citizens for the lectures delivered to us. We equally appreciate the moral and spiritual support from our beloved families. Lastly, sir, John F. Kennedy said, 
As we express gratitude, we must never forget that the highest appreciation is not to utter words, but rather live by them. I therefore wish to underscore our commitment and pledge as vanguards of change and the trailblazers that are ready to contribute to national peace and security. I thank you for listening. I say all this as we protect and serve for God and my country. Thank you very much, Coast Senior. Uh, uh, before we continue any further, uh, allow me to read for you our social media handles where you can join us. We are at Facebook, on Facebook, uh, Uganda Police, and then at uh, YouTube, Uganda Police. Uh, we are also on Zoom. You can join in. Those that have links can share with uh, your loved ones, your parents, so that they can always join in at uh, this very nice occasion. Let me take this opportunity to welcome uh, the commandant, uh, uh, police uh, senior command and staff college, uh, Webadja. Thank you very much. Chief Guest, the Chief of Joint Staff, AIGP Bakasumba, the Director as present, Director HRD, Police Services, Special Duties, HRA, the Tutor Director as present, the Representative of the Vice Chancellor of Makerere University, the Regional Head of the ICRC and other guests who are here, the teaching staff, the graduates, the press, ladies and gentlemen, I have five minutes which I should use to give my few remarks. On behalf of the college here, the uh, Police Near Command and Staff College, Buebaja, and on my own behalf, I have the honor to welcome you to this uh, college for the pass out ceremony of the Intermediate Command and Staff Course, Intake 6. The college has taken rational steps to provide both theoretical and practical training to these officers in preparation for them to have enhanced command and supervisory assignments at tactical and operational level but all in all while coordinating with uh, various uh, stakeholders in the contemporary policing environment. This course commenced on 9th April and is ending today, 20th August, with 43 participants, of whom nine are female. They range from the rank of senior superintendent of police to superintendent of police. Uh, this course has had two major components the Intermediate Command and Staff course, which we facilitate here as the directing staff of the college, supported by sister agencies. And they have learned a lot, including the command post exercise, uh, which was demonstrated recently. So those command skills are really enhanced among them. Then the second component is the Advanced Certificate in Peace Building Human Security and Conflict are Transformation, uh, which is taught by uh, Macrae University. So they are going away with the two certificates. In line with the college growth, a memorandum of understanding between Macrae University and Uganda Police Force to train the senior command who are still on course here with a Master of, uh, of Arts in Peace and Conflict Studies was signed. Uh, Macquarie University has already started teaching the program. It's a one-year intense program that will cover all the credit hours of the two years. We have the PhD program with the United Nations University for Peace, uh, UPS, and we have eight uh, senior police officers on course, of whom four are directing staff here. And I thank the director, HRD, 
and the police management for paying their uh, tuition fees. Similarly, the Uganda Police Force and the Uganda Management Institute signed a memorandum of understanding to teach leadership and management programs at the college. There has also been extensive debate during this course of intermediate within this, uh, uh, about contemporary policing. The topics have, have had a wide range on the international perspective, the national, the regional, and even institutional. The quality of debate was enhanced since these participants before you saw were selected from, uh, ably from the uh, various directorates of the Uganda Police Force. So each one would come with a different perspective and experience and it has enriched our analysis here. We here, the college staff, are convinced that this course has equipped the participants with capabilities to translate the knowledge and skills into practical realities. And that's what we have been telling them more. Not only what you learn, but how do you apply what you have learned? And they have been making daily learning log logs of how the topic of the day is going to be relevant to him or her after here. And then they would submit them and would mark them. This will enhance their personal professionalism and ultimately a better institutional performance of the UPF. This course was also supported by field study visits, which helps the students, uh, help the students to link the theory, learned, and the practical realities out there and also to link security and development. We didn't go to so many because of the COVID pandemic, but we visited some of the uh, areas which we believe can support their policing skills. All the 43 participants nominated for the course, ASA, have been very, very disciplined. Use of 